All right, today's starting lineup. First for the Phillips Corgo Seal, the Mounties. The Mountaineers. Number 15, leading off. Playing shortstop will be Parker Lamb. Batting second, number one, second baseman. All right, Sam good afternoon, McDonald. everybody. Welcome to Doc right Edder's Field. Five, Lucas Peterson. For today's Laurel Highlands Athletic Conference Baseball. The center fielder today, number 23, game between Brandon the visiting on. Mounties of Phillipsburg. At first base, Phillipsburg Osceola, number 11. And Alex our 6-0 Eagles. Eagles. Designated hitter for Phillipsburg Osceola, number 18, Fisher White. Doing the pitching today, number 9, Brandon Hill. Hill. Number 18, Fisher White. Doing the pitching today, number 9, Zach Yoder. Doing the catching will be number 8, Connor Matier. In left field, number 18, Hayden Kepler. And number four, at third base, Archer Buffman. The head coaches, Tyler Good, or excuse me, Doug Sankey. The assistant coach, Tyler Good. Landon McDonald and J.R. Buffman. For your Baltic Area Eagles, leading off today will be shortstop number two, Cale Burns. Left fielder number 26, Gavin Burns. At second base, number nine, Tayton Yoder. Over at third base, number 22, Carson Nagel. Your pitcher designated hitter today is number 12, Braden Dubs. Behind the plate, number 24, Caden Burns. At first base, number 40, Wyatt Speckman. Connor Perry, number one, will be the right fielder. And in center field, number 42, Cameron Watkins. Your coaches today, head coach Jim Gardner, assistant coaches, command sergeant major retired John Jones, Ryan McNamara, Luke Gardner, Justin Taylor, and Zach Grote. Umpires today on the base pass will be Mr. Cody Kogan, and behind the plate, Mr. Jim Shaw. Leading off the game today, for the Phillips Fargo Seola Mounties, number 15, shortstop, Parker Lamb. All right, so now that Joe's done introducing everyone, Parker Lamb's a sophomore, about 250 on his early season. Like I said, P.O.'s only played uh, three games so far this year. So if you hear in the background over my mic, we also have a little softball game. It's on the radio on 98.7 Fox. We called strike for the first pitch of the game. Bray Dubs is on the mound today for the Eagles. Kate Dubs is behind the dish. Give the rest of the defense here in a second. Infield is Carson Nagel at third base. Kale Burns at short. Tate Yoder at second. Wyatt's back at first. Your outfielders are Gavin Burns at left. Cam Watkins in center. Right fielder is Connor Perry. The infield is actually not in bad shape. If you look, you probably can't, there's a base hit to center field. If you look on the screen, you probably can't tell. But out where all the outfielders are standing, you can kind of see how the grass is changing a little bit of color. That's because I think it's wet. So you see the mud coming up through the grass. Between the two fields today. Number one, Sam McDonald. So Sam McDonald now batting for PL. I keep forgetting television and teams that are streaming so more people can get on. McDonald is 1 for 12 on the season. Takes the call to strike. There's a ball in play that might drop. Nope, Watkins is all over it. Didn't seem like he was hit that hard, but it went further than I thought it would. Now batting for Phillips. Right fielder, Lucas Peterson. Lucas Peterson batting for P.O. Joe and I are off just a little bit. On my, well, I'm off at my timing with Joe's announcements. Lucas Peterson. On the season, he's batting 400. He's four for ten. Dubsy throws over to first. So Brian was here Saturday, and I was talking about the NI deal, NIL deal for Brayton, you know, to pay for his sheets trips and stuff. I went over to Sheets today to buy it's uh, PIAA 
ball one, one and one. It's or one ball, I'm sorry. Uh, PIAA Appreciation Week for umpires and stuff. So we've been giving out five dollar uh, sheets gift cards all year. You know, it's a nice little gesture. Strike one, and one of the fans in there goes, "Are they for Brayton?" <laughs> At first, I'm like, "What?" And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, oh, somebody actually does listen. <laughs> so one ball, one strike, one out. Runner on first. He's got him, but he throws it wide to first. And now that's, oh, my gosh. So that's an error. Let's go, fellas. I don't know what happened to him. He is hurt. Where's Dr. Dvorky? Oh, it's Ashley that's here. Okay. 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 So they had Lamb picked off at first. He was hustling into second. The throw was high. Now it looks like. Did you listen to your I did. It's got his hair on his back. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Home airs. Plus one. I'm getting I'm getting that. It's, when I say this, once you figure it out, it's so simple because you have those plus one buttons. Yeah. He's all right, but it looks like they're going to make him go in. At least to check him out, because they could, re they can re-enter him, which is probably the smart thing to do, let the trainers take a look at him. Second base is number 25, Aiden Monarchik. Aiden Monarchik is going to run for Lamb. Now into the game, right? That's cool. Names Monarchik and Lamb. Yep. I remember Paul Lamb. He was a good football, baseball player in the mid 80s. I played there was a day of you know what's funny? If we check it out, we're probably talking about grandfather, then father. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, or grandfa grandfather, uncle, but you know. That's right. I didn't know if you were listening at all. I can't hear you. Oh. All right, so now we're back into action. P.O.'s got one out, runner on second. What's the count on the batter? 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. If anybody listening can just give me a shout out on if they can hear okay and everything. Brenda Struble, the Hoffman. The Eckerts. Two and two. They might be at the softball game, though. They got grandkids playing in both games. Two balls, two strikes, one out here at Doc Edders Field. Well, more of, I was going to say, that looked like a nice pitch. Called third strike. Two outs now for the Mounties. That'll bring up. Center fielder, number 23, Brandon Hahn. Brandon Hahn, a senior. He does not have a hit yet on this young season. Takes a strike by umpire Jim Shaw. Hey, as long, if he's got a big strike zone, I'm okay with it as long as it's on both teams. So that means I get to eat clear. All right, the Strubles have chimed in. Down old 220, and they both say we're coming in clear. Pass ball. Pass ball. 
wild pitch. I don't know, but it got to the backstop. Speaking of that, were you guys, anybody watched the Pirate or the Phillies game? I think it was Friday night. Rolamuto got hit in the wrist, and it went the whole way to the freaking. But they called it a third strike, and Hayes just stood there. It was really weird. All right, one ball, one strike, two outs. Runner on third. Stay right on top, right on top, downhill, away. What's that? Or now strike two, yeah. Come back. You see that? You see that Cleveland pitcher? That what? No. Tyler Sir got line dropped in the face for Allegheny on Saturday. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, he sent me a picture. I said, it didn't make you any better looking. Jack, you need to get back into business, buddy. Jack Woodrick from Port Matilda, yeah. Great umpire. So we're in the bottom, bottom of the first here at Doc Edders over at Belfont at O'Leary Field. It's 0 0 in the bottom of the second varsity softball action. So pitching for P.O. is a sophomore, Yoder. What's the first name on this Yoder boy? Zach Yoder's pitching. So the Eagles see their second straight left-handed starter. They saw Chamberlain on Saturday from Dubois. So Yoder has a 2.10 ERA, two appearances, he has one save. Doesn't tell me how many innings he's pitched. But. <laughs> Listening to the softball game, Bob Eagle just got a strikeout. Albright's got three strikeouts. She's faced four batters. So go to my Eagle stats page. <laughs> So Kale Burns is going to be leading off for the Eagles. He's batting 476 on the season. He has 10 hits, four singles, four doubles, a triple, and a very wind aided dinger. No, I'm just kidding. He hit a three run dinger on Saturday. And yeah, today. For the Bowling Eagles, number two. Hail, if the Eagles keep making solid contact like they've been doing, this could be a big game again because that wind is blowing to left field, and we all know what can happen when it's blowing to left field. All high. I wonder if Lamb got to come back in. I don't think he did because he was starting at center field and it looks like 25. Minutes. So I hope he's not hurt too bad. This kid brings a little heat, doesn't he? He throws harder than a kid on Saturday, don't you think, Brian? Yeah, I think so. Maybe that wick, maybe it was just. It didn't help that that kid was trying to throw in the 60 mile an hour wind at times. That can slow the ball down a little bit. Two balls, one strike. There's a ball in play. Might be a big can of corn. Yes, caught by the center fielder. So one out for the Eagles. That brings up Gavin Burns, left fielder. Number 26, Kevin Burn. He's batting six. You can shut that. If you want to shut that, he's batting 611 on the season. 11 hits, nine singles, two doubles. Let me make this little screen just a little bit smaller. Get the RBIs. He's got eight RBIs on the season, and so does Kale. Kale had eight RBIs. First pitch is a ball. All right, Jimmy. Two balls on Gavin Burns. Is that too much wind? Shut the door. You guys all right? I'm good. 
I have my hat on, so I'm not worried about my hair getting blown. <laughs> That's you mean, yeah. We're follically challenged. One ball or two balls, one strike on the senior left fielder Gavin Burns. Zach Yoder, lefty, sophomore, starting on the mound for the Mounties. Wind up the pitch. Ball three. Three balls, one strike on Burnsy. Gavin Burns, yeah, I guess, like I guess you gotta be more specific on this team. There's a ball in play, another can of corn. Boys are dipping their shoulders to start the game. Two batters up, two fly outs to center field. Tate and Yoder comes to the plate. He's batting. The changes for Phillipsburg goes to Ola. 38. Now playing third base is number 25, Aiden Menarchik. And at shortstop is Archer Buffman. He's batting 238 on the season. He has three singles, a double, and a dinger, and six RBIs. And he takes a called strike. Both pitchers are around the plate to start today's action. <laughs> Foul ball. Yoder's behind 0 2, or if you're a Mountie fan, Yoder on the mound is up 2 and 0 2. We got Yoders all over the place. You sure we're not over in the Belleville Valley? Swing and a miss. The young Mountie takes down the old Eagle. And that will finish the first inning. So tomorrow here at the grounds of Bald Eagle area, we have quite the afternoon. We have junior high baseball. We have junior high softball, and we have a quad track meet. So you might be walking a little bit to get to your event if you get here late. Everything starts at 4 o'clock, too. i got to figure out where I'm parking. I haven't figured out I'm going to have eight buses here tomorrow. Most track teams bring two. So there's six, and then one for the softball and one for the baseball. So pause me. You want to park a little cars tomorrow, buddy? I'm surprised the first thing out of your mouth was, how much I get paid? Wow, so she had two, she got two strikeouts, and two walks in it. Belfont had the bases loaded in the bottom of the second, didn't score against our Eagles. 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 Top of the second inning. Number 11. The first baseman, Alex Knapp. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. First baseman, Alex Knapp, batting 250 on the season. He scored two runs, has two hits. Braden Dumps out for his second inning of action. Swing and a miss. That's all we ask. Throw strikes. Because you got good defense behind you here for the Eagles. One ball, one strike. As soon as they say that, he throws a ball. Ball in play, base it, back the middle. So that's their second hit of the game. Mounties let off both innings with base hits, right? Number 19, yes. designated hitter, Fisher White. Fisher White in two games this year. He's batting 1,000. He's two for two. So, Mounties have a leadoff runner on. Double throws a strike. I'm looking through glares and hands. Was that a swing or a call? Call. call. So, one ball, one strike. 
Jimmy showing you the runner. Ball in play to Nagel. He bobbles it. He's not going to get anybody. Got away with maybe making a throw he shouldn't have made. So now the Mounties have two runners on. No outs. Eagles have committed their second error of the game already. Not very smooth start. It's early, but three up, three down in the bottom of the first. Now two errors. Two hits given up. Number eight, the catcher, Connor Mateer. When you're the defending state champ and you're 6-0, and you got to be ready to play. Teams are going to show up. They want to be the, these guys want to be the first ones to knock you off. Ball. Who's this bat, Joe? Mateer. He's batting 143 on this season. There's a shot to left. That's going to be toast. Yep. That gets down. That's going to score at least one run. Runner thrown out going to third. Nice relay burns to Burns to Nagel. But the Mounties take an early 1-0 lead. And they have a runner on second base with one out. Doug needs to update his scoreboard. Sorry about that, folks. We're in the second Let's inning. Hayden. And the uh, Mounties take a one nothing lead. So one out, runner on second for the Mounties. I hear the guys on the radio saying they're, they're covering all four games of the Happy Valley Hardball Classic at Medler Field at Lebrano Park on Saturday. The mission is free, however, parking is not. Ball in play. That's in a no man's land. Burns lets it. Yeah, that's a left fielder's ball. That was kind of in the no man's land. So, Mounties now have four hits. And they have runners on first and second, one out. That one out was a seven to six to five. Play at third base, time called. There we go. Ryan Manning, or Ryan Manning, Ryan McNamara walking out to the mound. A little bit of purpose. This might be the, hey boys, we got a ball game today. Yeah. So, yeah, so parking at the stadium on Saturday, if you don't buy your parking ahead of time online, is $40. So if you're planning on going to the baseball, you need to buy your parking ahead of time. If you don't know how to get that parking, give me a call at 814-280-0250 or uh, up, up, uh, get you hooked up. So no, one out, runners on first and second. Dubs goes for ball one. How many pitches he's got so far? 26. 26 pitches. Yeah, he did a nice first inning, but this one's going to put his average down a little bit. Ball low, 2-0. That could be trouble. Oh, he missed it. So now the bases are loaded. He, giving him an air on that one, right? You have to. Watkins drops the ball in right center field. Hey, did I miss something? Is Barnum and Bailey in, clown, in town today? Aiden, Menarchik. Hey, these kids like to pick on me, and I say, you can pick on me all you want to, but there'll be certain times when I can get you back. Right now, not very happy with the way we're playing. Base is loaded. One out, one run in. P.O. has four hits. The Eagles have three errors. We're only in the top of the second inning. Oh, 
Sounds like the Eagles foul ball. Eagles softball teams playing the same type of games over O'Leary Field, but they haven't given up a run yet. That was close to being a fair ball down the third base line, probably about a foot and a half. One ball, one strike, one out. Eagles in at the corners, deep at short and second. Dubsy trying to put this fire out. This kid is like on him pretty good. He's a little ahead. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> that one was a little bit further out. So one ball, two strikes. There's a bleeder. That's gonna score one, maybe two. So the Mounties take a 2 nothing lead. Now the bases are still loaded. Second baseman, number one, Sam McDonald. Yeah. Mounties showed up swinging the sticks. Now base is still loaded, one out, two runs in. Mounties have five hits on the scoreboard already. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. I just put it out there, but yes, they're having one. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. 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 No, it's okay. No, no, no it's okay. They're, they're, they are. Yeah. 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 One run in there. They made it yesterday, but I'm sure they, they need things too, so whatever you need to bring, it be very much. Great killer. Number five, Lucas Peterson. Damn, they're about to run, didn't you? Yeah, um, I'll, 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 I'll,
Fires to first. The Eagles are finally out of the inning. But the Mounties go for six runs in the top of the second inning, sending a message to the Eagles. Second inning. For six runs scored on five hits, a runner left on base. And we move to the bottom of the second inning. Oh, and there was there were two errors in that inning for the Bowling Larry Eagles. Moving to the bottom of the second inning. Mounty six, Eagles scoreless. So the old proverbial, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. It's time to play ball. But you know what? With our offense, if we get hot, we can do the same thing they just did. He's probably down to JV game. Dr. Devo is probably at the softball. Eagles in the bottom of the second inning. Third baseman number 22, Carson Nagel. Your daughter just got a single. Yeah, she's on first, one out. What's the score? Hey, bud. I think it's nothing much. So who we got up, Carson? Yeah. I want to give you Carson's um, stats, but I got to go back to baseball. Hit him. Hit him. Hit by pitch. And guys, hey, got to get on any way you can. Good job, Carson. Number 12, the pitcher, Braden Dub. So Sidney Thompson just hit a two-out double, and the Eagles take a one-nothing lead over Belfont. At Doc Edders Field, we got pitcher Braden Dubs batting. And I'm trying to figure out how to center my screen again. Here we go. Dubsy's down 0-2. He's batting 316 on the season. He has six hits, five doubles. Five singles, a double, five RBIs. Ball inside, it gets away. Nagel speeds down to seconds. We got a runner on second. Nobody out. You can't get six runs back super quick. We gotta, we're gonna work, have to work our way back into this game. But it, Nagel's on second now after a hit by pitch. Dubs is down, one ball, two strikes. Ball two. How come lefties always have to be crafty? Oh my goodness. The only flamethrower, well, two, Koufax and Johnson. Foul ball. Dubsy battling at the plate. Crafty little left. Doesn't matter if he sits by. Yeah. I don't think I ever heard Randy Johnson being called crafty, but that's possible. Little lefty. Yeah. Long arm. I wonder why I can't see the players' names here. Oh. A little, little bit of O's from the PO dugout. What do you think there, Jim Taylor? You think that was close? A little low? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Called out. Looking on a 2-2 pitch. So Dubs goes down. So one out for the Eagles. And that's going to bring up... Number 24, pitcher, Caden Dubs. Caden Dubs, number 24. Burns. Excuse me. Burns. <laughs> Sorry, I just called him Caden Dubs, too. He's batting 444 on the season. 
just behind his brother at 476. So the Eagles and Doc Edders. Eagles need to swing the sticks, man. There's too much standing around. Let's go. Swing the sticks. Phillipsburg's swinging the sticks. You can swing the sticks. You can't get on if you're not swinging the sticks. Let's go. There you go. Ball down. Nagel stays. Nice play by the catcher. One ball, two strikes on Caden Burns, the senior catcher. Like I say, he's batting 444 on the season. He's got five singles, three doubles, three RBIs. Got to at least get a run back here just to say, hey, we're, we're here. He's swing and a miss. Strike two. There's two outs now. So after a leadoff hit batsman who moved up on a wild pitch, Eagles next two batters have struck out. Now batting. Wyatt Spackman comes to the plate. The junior first baseman's batting 353 on the season, six hits. He's got two doubles, two singles, two doubles, a triple, and a home run. This he has one strike on him. Man, it just, they don't seem like they're with it today at all. I think it's the pitcher. He's too slow. He's not. He don't have any speed. Oh, okay. He's not terrible. He really throws out of the game. He was throwing harder early. Alright. There it is. Three strikeouts. So the Eagles not making contact. And the Mounties are. So after two innings, the Eagles trail 6-0. One runner left on base for the Eagles, and one hit by pitch. We've completed two innings, Mountie six, one of the area, four. Didn't put our sponsors up yet. Do that. And again, if you still want to be a sponsor, we'll take your money. No, uh, we're always looking to uh, enhance our capabilities, plus make sure we can pay for playoff events. Uh, but we thank the people that have already sponsored. We have put on a lot of events this year. My next goal is to try to do it. Try to be answer somehow. About doing that. Now the Eagles need to come out, out, show a little life. It's funny they got punched in the face. We're not responding too well. We're still acting like we're stamping around. Or if you want to use the UF, UFC from the another night, we look like Bo Nichols on top of us, putting the old death grip to us. We need to get out. Lots of ball left. Lots of ball left. But we need to start showing like we came to play a little ball today. For the Mounties, the top half of the third inning. Designated hitter number 19, Fisher White. Swing and a miss. That's a good start. Back throwing strikes. Throw it again. They can't catch up to it. Yes, over to softball. Bottom of three. Eagles lead 2-0. There's a ball in play. That's going to the gap. That's going to drop. Watkins overruns it. Burns is hustling on the back. It makes a nice throw to second base. Holds him to a single. But the Mounties have their eighth hit of the day already. We're only in the top of the third inning.
catcher number eight, Hunter Matier. So, the Eagles have a runner on first. Clear your balls and strikes there. Hey, pause. Clear your balls and strikes. But, hey, come on, rookie. Let's go. Oh, you're doing good. This will get you another trip to Sheets. There's a ball in play. Connor Perry comes over. Or, sorry, Perry's out in the outfield. Tate and Yoder, sorry. We got Caden Dubs playing catcher. We got Connor Perry playing second. <laughs> Barnum and Bailey's, I think, is in the press box now, too. I don't think they exist anymore, do they? Does Barnum and Bailey still have the circus, or is that defunct now? I don't think I know so. the Shriners still have theirs. Yeah, they do. One out now. Yeah, they just had it. So one ball to the mounting batter. Number 18, Kephart. Mmm, that's pretty thick. Ball two. Three balls, no strikes, one out, runner on first. Perhaps you might want to slow down and take a deep breath here, big fella. Come on, that part's before this game had no batting average. Call strike. Ball four now. Runners on first and second for the Eagles. Infield fly rule is in effect. So one out. Runners on first and second. Infield fly rule. First up, number four, Archer Buffman. Dubsies gets in. Gets a signal. All one. Two balls, no strikes. How many pitches has he thrown, Brian? Sorry to be. Is he in the 60s now? 52. 52, okay. So the Eagles over at Belfont lead two, lead two nothing after four. Here at Doc Edders, Eagles trail six nothing. Runners on first and second, one out, two balls on the batter. He gets a signal from Burns. He comes home. There's a ball in play. That looks like it's in the gap. It is in the gap. That's going to score at least one. Ball gets away. So another double for the Mounties. And they now lead 7 nothing. This might be a short game tonight. Eagles might get done to them what they've been doing to other people. Excuse me. Off today. Anybody warming up in the pen, Jimmy? Dubsy. Now with runners on second, third, one out. Number 25, Aiden Menarchik, third baseman. Menarchik came into the game when Lamb got hurt in the first inning. Takes a ball. Another fly ball, scores a run. Yeah. yeah, one ball, no strikes. Runners on second, third, one out. Two balls. Seven runs on nine hits for the Mounties. Eagles with three airs. None this inning. Well. Pitcher can't have a fielding error, but scored another run. Fielder's choice. Mounties lead now 8 0 here in the top of the third inning. Second baseman, number one. 
Tim McDonald. The reason I said not, well, if you're watching, the ball got through Dubsy's wickets. But Yoder playing a good second base. Stayed with the play, got him out at first. Two outs now. Ball low. Well, if the Eagles thought that it was going to be easy, they've been mistaken today. Two balls. What have you done for me lately? Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Three balls, no strikes, two outs. Called strike. So 3 1. Runner on third for the Mounties now. Two outs. Eagles need to try to get out of this inning without giving up any more runs. Another walk. So the Eagles still out on defense. Runners on. Lucas Peterson. Lucas Peterson comes up for the Mounties. Yeah, probably. You're up eight nothing. What do you got to lose? Gets thrown out. You just this guy leads off the next inning. One ball. I was watching runner at first. So one ball, no strikes. Runners on first, and third, two outs. What two runs in this? No, yeah, two runs in this. Inning. Foul ball out of play. The noise you hear is either the wind or the Mountie players. Not much coming from the Eagles side of things right now. Balls, one strike, two outs. Eagles treading water right now. Trying to get out of this third inning, see if they can come in and start swinging the sticks like the Mounties are. That one was just a bit too high. Three balls, one strike. I don't know how these guys are laying off these things. Had to get at least one reference in a major league tonight. Called strike two, so full count. Two outs, runners on first and third. The wind up. No, I'm sorry, he's still taking the signal. Takes the signal, comes to the belt. Time! Here we go again. Full count. Runner at first will probably be taken off. He's flying out to center field. But the way we're playing today, can't assume anything. But Cameron Watkins snags it. The Eagles come running into the dugout. Hopefully someone's coming in with a little bit of feistiness. For the Mounties, two runs, two hits. Two runners left on base. Move to the bottom of the third inning. Mounties eight. Eagles scoreless. So the Eagles are coming up. They're down eight nothing. Let's see if there's a little bit of fight in these Eagles. We're gonna show a little spunk here. Show a little feistiness. The softball still leads two nothing over at O'Leary Field. He's my. Forty-four people won. 
Daily. And hope you're enjoying, well, enjoying the beautiful weather and stuff right now. Baseball, unless you're a Mountie fan, not very much to write home about right now. So we're going to have one of these Dorney Brook Dock Editor marathons, I have a feeling. I think the boys are going to come and start waking up. Yeah, that's true, though. Two more runs. And we don't score any. It could be a quick trip home. Okay. Oh, yeah, somebody going out to the pen. We got some rule age relief action. Probably Tegan Runkle, if I had to guess. Leading off the ball in the third inning. For the Bulgari Eagles, number one, right fielder, Hunter Perry. Not sure. Is that a ball? Yeah. Base hit here. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's all we need. Go ahead. Who's batting for us? Connor Perry. Let me get my stats up here for young Connor. He's a junior. Swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike on Connor Perry. Come on, Douglas. Why are these stats <laughs> Connor Perry's batting 176 on the season. He has three hits, two singles, and a double. He does have three RBIs. So his offense maybe isn't going the way he wants to, but he's played a decent right field. Played a nice second base the other day. Almost made the play of the game. The Eagles keep popping the ball straight up in the air. So pop fly to the second baseman, one out. Center Hill, number 42, Cameron Watkins. You're new, Cameron, you're new. So Cam Watkins is batting 556 on the season, has 10 hits, six singles and four doubles, 10 RBI. Hey Goober, restart your I got it. Okay, buddy. We're talking to those chicks on the phone. <laughs> Beat it out. Infield single. First hit for the Eagles. <laughs> Cam, was, Cam was hauling you know what down the line, too. So good hustle. Because if he doesn't. Number two. Kale Burns. So Kale Burns comes up. He flied out his first time up. The Watkins needs to be safe here. Lefty. One ball, one strike. He's not pausing. If he is, it's quick. That was a quick pitch, I thought. So two balls, one strike on shortstop Kale Burns. Cam Watkins has a one-out single. That's a quick pitch. Good call, good call. Call to Bach. Did not pause. I, so, there's no pitch though, right? No pitch. No pitch. Two balls, one strike on Burnsy. I got Watkins on second. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Eagles have their second runner in scoring position. Guy, Cam. 
That looked good. Good eye for good, good, good eye on Teo. Full count now on Burnsy. We're still popping it up in the air. Come on, guys. Line drives. Let's go. Come on. Line drive. Come on, Kale. Get it started, babe. Come on now. I'm allowed to homer. Another pop fly. Another long fly ball out for the Eagles. And everything's a pop up to the outfield. The Eagles have one hit. One hit on the day. One lousy hit. <laughs> There's another L. <laughs> Go to, go to, two, two outs now. Runner on second, Cam Watkins. Gavin Burns at the plate. Right there, right there. One lousy hit. Ball one. You can't say that on the radio. Ah, there's nobody listening. Oh, I didn't say anything this time, but just on the major league, I can't remember what he says. Oh, oh, oh. One, oh, he said GD, I think. One ball, one strike on Gavin Burns. There you go. Good eye, good eye. Leave it down there. Two balls, one strike on the Eagles senior left fielder. Gavin Burns, You've got center fielder senior Cam Watkins in second. Ball three. Locked on yours. Locked on yours here. Go on, Cam. Strike two. I thought it looked like a strike. Here's the thing. We're standing at the plate. We're begging. We're not swinging the bat. It's just, I, 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 I'm really disappointed. Yeah. We're not going to lie to you. I'm disappointed. You're going to talk the talk. you got to walk the walk. Actually, sometimes a game like this is just what a team needs. Now they're pop fly. Oh, he gets his, it does drop. Watkins going to come in and score. So Burns with a two out bloop single to right field scores a run. We're not scoped. So that might be just what the Eagles needed. Eagles trail now eight to one in the bottom of the first or third. Number nine, Peyton Yoder. Yoder had a two run dinger on Saturday. I just take a line drive somewhere right now. Called another ball. Yep. He's not pausing. Yeah, he's not pausing. You know what, bro? They let kids get away with that too much. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's one of the things you have to, especially left hand. I'm a left hand. Two GB. Oh, yeah, I, I think Cody does a great job. So no balls, no strikes on Yo It's like we have taken how many pitches right down the middle today? Come on now. Maybe that's his modus operandi. Ryan always took the first one. There's another. Nope, it's too high. Too high. I thought maybe for a second. It was weird, another can of corn. So that concludes the third inning for the Eagles. They trail 8 1, going to the top of the fourth. One run. And there were two Eagle hits. And we've completed three innings. Now he's eight. Baltimore area one. Softball right now leads 3 nothing. Now we can't take anything for granted in softball because Saturday proved that theory is your league's never safe. Eagles blew a 6 nothing lead to Jersey Shore. They do lead 3 nothing, I believe, in the top of the fifth. Maybe the sixth. 
Belfort. Oh, it's bottom of six. I, all right, so I didn't hear the end hitting end. Yeah, so it's the bottom of the sixth in Belfont at O'Leary Field. BEA Lady Eagles lead 3-0 over the Red Raiders. Here at Doc Edders, Braden Dubs comes out for the fourth inning. How many pitches has he got, Brian? 67. 67. So he's got 23 pitches left. 23? 33. 33 pitches left. Now you just hope he can give you one to two more innings, hopefully. Eagles get some more runs, try to make this a ball game. Yeah, Number 23, center fielder, Brandon Hahn. Number 23, Brandon Hahn, leading off for the Mounties. He's a senior. Strike on the Alex Bosney scoreboard. Where's Smitty? Uh, he's watching the softball game. Oh, so what chicks are you over there watching? He's with Wade, I know that. Oh, okay. Well, Wade better be there to watch his oh, sister, but then he's probably there watching that one of those Yoder girls. I can't remember which one's which. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Actually, it's a leadoff hitter for the inning. There's a ground ball to Nagel. He fields it, comes up firing the first for the out. So we got one out. Leadoff hitter out. Number 11, first baseman, Alex Nepp. Alex Nepp comes up for the Mounties. One out now, Mounties lead eight to one. Nice Called good. strike. One and one. Two ball, or one ball, two strikes, sorry. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball, and he's hanging in there. One ball, two strikes. One out. Top of the fourth inning. Eagles trail eight to one. Yep, you heard me correctly. Eight to one against the rival P.O. Mounties. Who has had a heck of a baseball tradition. And maybe the kids aren't surprised. I don't know the teams as well as I used to, so maybe this isn't a surprise at all. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Wind blowing towards left field. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Here's a wind up in the pitch. Balls up in the air, out of play. Balls, two strikes, one out. Top of the fourth inning. 
Big hop over to Nagel. Eagles are playing with fire over to Leary Field again. Sixth inning, same inning that got him last game. Two runners on via walk. I'll try to keep you posted on here, but here we got a runner on first. Oh, my bad. Runner not on first yet, though. Still the full count guy. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Is this Nap still? Yeah, he's been battling. This is probably about the ninth pitch you see. Called third strike. Two outs now. Eagles might have their first three up, three out inning. Three up, three down inning here if they can get this batter. Third 18, designated hitter, Fisher White. What did you do last time, double? No. He can't run, he, he had a shot. Okay. No balls, one strike, two outs. There's a ground ball back the middle. Bertie comes over, cuts it off, throws to first for the third out. So the Eagles do get the Mounties three up, three down in the top of the fourth. So now they need to come in and get some more runs on the board. Three up, three down. Hey, got a With the bottom of the fourth inning, 98. He goes scoreless. Hey, let's go here. Got it on, got it on. Yoder on the mound for the Mounties has done a really nice job. Sophomore left-hander. He's done a nice job of sticking around the plate. For whatever reason, the Eagles have a lot of pop fly outs today. So Sierra Albright gets her ninth strikeout, gets out of the sixth inning. So I think she's got nine strikeouts and four walks today. I'm just trying to remember from what I, the action I was listening to. All right, who we got batting? Carson Nagel's at the plate. Third baseman, junior. Got to get this started, boys. Come on. Can't win, can't win it with one swing. Another pop fly. That one might. It's gone. So Nagel hits a home run. So he did get one more run on the board. To center field. I didn't know if it had enough or not, but it kept carrying. Too high. Too high. What do you mean too high? <laughs> Out on the reservation. I don't see anybody moving for the fly ball yet, or the home run ball. 
Yeah, get on base, Braden. Is that a ball? One ball? Nobody's going for that. Oh, that's a seven dollar baseball! Somebody's gotta go get it! Is that not a good one? I can't see it. Your approach. Oh, he swung. Okay. I can't. There's a glare and stuff, so sometimes. Yeah, that's a pop. Oh, is it going to get out of play? I can't see it. So one ball, two strikes. Okay, now you lock on. Lock on here, one, two. One ball, two strikes on Braden Dove. He's pitching today. He's been battling. He had a rough start. Last inning, three up, three down. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, nice pitch. Why is it a nice pitch? Jim, you could probably walk from the trailer park and come up and get that ball because no one's still going after it. And I'll probably have to go out and say, someone needs to go get that home run ball. Catcher, number 24, Caden. What's that? guys probably sat down there and didn't get it. Oh, I know. I mean, I know we don't have a ton of kids on the bench, but what was that pitch? Send Sergeant Major effort. Hi. So one ball. Going out front with the baby. Out front with the 2-4. Load. Two balls, one strike. On. Caden Burns. Come on, Caden. Get this start. Dig hard, dig hard. Oh. Got to protect now. Come on, bud. 2-2. Two, two. Go back through. Go, boy. Out front. Out front. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Eagle catcher, Kate Burns at the plate. Taylor, what's the count? He didn't have two two. I said that's what we have on the board. What's that? Yeah, we expect that. It's Miller time or Jenny time for. No, it's just, yeah, he likes his Jenny light or whatever. Sorry if I'm talking. Yeah, I just I just know that. Okay, his kid grew up with mine. Okay, nothing wrong with that. He doesn't have it on school property. Yeah. There's a ground ball. Come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. He's taking you for granted on the speed. Oh yeah. That was a bang banger. I was hoping we'd get the call, but bang banger. Nice hustle, Kate. Yes, it could have. Darn it. Two outs now. First baseman, number 40, Wyatt Spackman. Wyatt Spackman comes up to the plate. Come on. Two out rally. Let's go. Come on, Spack. Cool. Get your pitch. Remember that. Yeah. You're all right. Don't help him. How many pitches is this right. kid from? Is he at 50 yet? 62. Oh, he's not that high. Oh, it's 54. That's higher than I thought it would be. Swing and a miss. Spackman's in the hole. 0-2. Oh, hey, what a great day for Channel 10 or Channel 6 to come for the first time. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. Yeah, somebody's down here with the big camera. One run and one hit. 
Two runners left on base. He completed four innings. Mounties eight. Bowling area two. I don't know if Jackson and them are going to play people that are slow. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth inning. Eagles still trail eight to two. And only have what three hits on the day. Zach Yoder, right? It's a pitcher. Zach Yoder's done a nice job for the Mounties. Pitching change for the Eagles. Is that Kowalczyk? Yeah. Landon Kowalczyk, right? Why? Why? Oh, Landon was his older brother. Oh, jeez. Darn it. I do that too much now. Why? Shout out from his brother. Hey, thanks for the. <laughs> oh, my wife called him Consonance because of their last name, Kowalczyk. Oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. Swing, Animus. Strike one out. Eagles trail 8 2 with the bo uh, top of the fifth inning. Wyatt Kowalczyk on the mound. 3 1, that was in the dirt. So, looks like Weston McLean must be getting in maybe a bullpen set. Oh no, that's Deacon Rumble. 
Jumped out to an eight nothing lead in the third inning. Before the Eagles got on the board. Ooh, that's gonna be a throwing error. Slow play in general. So, so that's the fourth air for the Eagles today. Archer, It's not good when you have more airs than you do hits. Yeah. So Mounties now have a runner on second base with one out. Was that pitch? Must have, must have been, yeah, because up and down wise it looked good. But maybe Kate is set up on the side a little bit. They're just. Yeah, it must have been outside. Yeah, this place, like I said, it'll be rocking tomorrow, man. Track and field, four teams. So you're going to strike two. He's throwing strikes. That's all you can ask for. Come on, Arch. Come on, Lefty. 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 Come Nice scoop, nice stop by Bernsey. Now the count's full. Eagles pitchers throwing lots of pitches today. Lots of pitches. Full count, one out, runner on second. Yep. Got him, swinging. All right, I was back far enough, I lost sight of the home plate. So two outs, runner still on second. Why Kowalczyk in for Brayden Dubs in relief. Actually, the kid that got on base was a funky play. Jimmy thinks it hit the knob of the bat. It was slow, and it was probably dead smack in the middle between Kowalczyk and Burns. When Kowalczyk tried to make the throw to first, it was probably should have just held it. Yes. It's never good when your right fielder's snagging the ball on a ball that went about 15 feet. <laughs> That'd be like one of those plays where back in the day, Terry Dorman, when he made us go the whole way around without making a mistake, or you start it over. Please start back over. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. And you could be hated if you were that one that kept screwing up. Two balls, there's three balls, one strike now. Two outs. Kowalczyk. What's that? Oh, I know you were. Three balls, one strike. Round ball to Yoder. He snags it, throws it to first, so you... Kowalczyk gets out of the mini jam with the runner in scoring position, less than two outs. Again, not a lot of not a lot of fire coming off the field though. No hits. What's that? We move to the stretch inning. Yeah, we got to get the bats. They're bringing Yoder out. I didn't know if they were going to bring him out or. The Cavaliers ahead, eight to two. Up. Wow. 
watching the Cubs on WGN. The seventh inning stretch was quite interesting. All right, let me hear you now. You didn't know how plastered Harry was until the bottom of the seventh inning. If you could understand what he was saying, he was only on about his seventh beer. Yeah. If he was slobbering, he was on his second case. <laughs> He's got to get it started. Leading off the bottom of the fifth inning for the Bowling Larry Eagle. Right fielder number one, Connor Perry. Come on, Connor Perry. Make this young man throw some pitches. He's in the mid 60s, right? 64. 64. So he's got 36 pitches left. On the attack. On the attack, baby. Yeah, we just don't. All right, come on, let's go be negative. Come on, let's go. Come on, Connor. Come on, baby. Now you gotta lock in. Now you gotta lock in here, Walter. He's definitely feeling good about himself, you know. Doing a really nice job. Swing and miss. Three pitches, three strikes. Cam. Cam, roll the top, baby. Let's go. Center fielder, number 42, Cameron Watkins. So he has one of the three Eagle hits today. Yep. He, Gavin Burns, and Carson Nate have the three hits today. Watkins and Burns had singles. And Nagel had the dinger. So one ball, two Watkins. Ball, one strike. The other thing, I guess I'm just old school, but cracks me up. You sit in there and you laugh. And it might have been a low pitch. But when you haven't really done anything all day, you don't have any room to like be making fun of anybody. No. Throwing a heck of a ball game. Hey, it certainly no is. Two, no two. two outs now brings up Kale Burns. Sure shot. Number two, Kale Burns. Yep. Kale's 0 for 2 with two pop outs. Like I said, though, overall, may not be a bad thing to come to Doc Edders and lay an egg. They have a big, a big weekend, you know. A big week. They still have Penns Valley tomorrow, which is always ready to play the Eagles. There's a shot to center, but right at him. Yep, right at him. At least that was on a line drive. I like to see that. That just right at him. Good job. Hey, let's go. Another zero here. Another zero. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's go. Moving to the top of the sixth inning. Come on, come on, Matt 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 well, down, so that down, was baby. not a hit, but it was square and right at the center fielder. So much better than the first two time up. The Eagles have Penn Valley tomorrow at Penn Valley. Friday, hopefully here at home, we have Somerset. And then Saturday is the Happy Valley Hardball Classic. Again, if you're planning on going to one or both games, one parking for the day, but you have to buy it online before the end of the day on Friday. Or you'll be paying 40 bucks on Saturday to park. There's also going on USA Wrestling uh, Trials. Wyatt Kowalczyk is on for his second inning of relief. 
Hasn't given up a hit yet. Did have a base runner last inning. Reached on a throwing error, error by Kowalczyk. He also had two strikeouts, if I'm not mistaken, and a ground out to take the other. For the Mounties at the top of the sixth inning, leading off the inning will be number one. Second baseman, Sam McDonald. in the pitch. Oh, I missed it. Was that it? When it got away. One ball, one strike. Two and one. Looking for it, guys. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes. There's a line drive in the gap. Might be two if he hustles. Yep. That's just a microcosm of today. Yep. That young man hustled for a double. Number five, Lucas Peterson. Young man hustled for a double. Second back. No. I'm sorry, no, yeah, there's, there's one out, right? We I don't see it on the board. Oh, no, but that was the leadoff hitter. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to do multiple things at one time. I like your Yeah, sorry. I'm going to down there. Here we go. Here we go. There's a bunt. Nice bunt. Kowalczyk field. Comes to first. It's a nice bunt. Did its job. Got the runner to third. So with one out, the Mounties have a runner at third. Number 23. Center fielder. Brendan Hollard. Carson, make it burn to work back there. So two balls, no strikes. Walsh trying to get out of this inning without giving up a run. Runner on third, one out, infield in. Balls, no strikes. Yep. They yep. can't see it at all. Now 
Runners on the corners. One out. Runners on the corners. One out. Does he go on the first pitch? No strikes. Runner took off for second. No throw down. I would score that. Runner's their defensive indifference, but yep. Brian agrees with me. So on the scoreboard, the visitors have eight runs on ten hits, no errors. The home team has two runs, three hits. I think Joe was playing the circus music. Yeah. 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 There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Just makes it get in the groove throwing strikes. That was a nice pitch. Two balls and one strike. Yeah, if you can get that lefty that can come in and throw strikes. Here Runner come. come home. Too many balls though hitting the dirt. I don't know why that runner is trying to go. I don't know either. Caden's getting a workout. That's for sure. So the Mounties score their ninth run. Oh, we're in the top of the six. I didn't change the end. So the Eagles now trail nine to two. We're runner on second for the Mounties. One out. Another one. Infield fly rules in effect. One out, runners on first and second. Designated hitter, number 19, Fisher White. So Teague and Runkle's warming up in the pen. Out comes Coach Mack. How many pitches is he up to? 35. World War III didn't happen, did it? I'm not being just, I, mean, I don't mean to be smart about it, but it's kind of scary. I just think you know, I haven't checked. John Sterling, the longtime radio voice of the New York Yankees. I wonder why I saw I had a call from Brian Cashman today. I just didn't have time to answer. He's been doing it for 30 years, or no, 35, 35 now years. Fort Bolton Galeria, number eight. Keegan Runkle. <laughs> so Keegan Runkle, sophomore, right? Pause. Sure.
pitcher for the day for the Eagles. Caden giving him a few words of encouragement. I reminded him too, he's got a runner on second. Do I have the board right? Is the board right? 9-2. Not that it, okay, just making sure. Okay. One out. Actually, you know, if they get two runs here, runners on first and second, we don't get any runs. This puppy's over. Right? No, three runs. Three runs. Well, they need three. Yeah, I'm losing it. I am totally. A dinger here would do that. I'm tired. Now, you know, when I get home, there's going to be a nine pound Yorkie just ready to go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to eat him for dinner or what? No, no, he's just going to be ready to play. Where you been, Dad? Yep, that's about it. No balls, two strikes. Kelly says it's amazing that usually right around when I'm getting ready to come home, he's up in the window. Like, you know, it's, dogs are amazing. Oh, yeah, they know. Nine ball or nine balls. No balls, two strikes, nine balls. Good boy, got this great. <laughs> Tegan Runkle's coming in, first batter, throwing strikes. That's what we all like to see. Definitely. Definitely not expecting this today as far as just sheer domination by the Mountains. Yeah, I can take loose. Like I said, matter of fact, it's not a bad thing. Nice pitch. Two. Two outs. Nice job, Tegan. I've never. Well, I saw him pitch a little bit, I think, in junior high, but it's been a while, so. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Number eight. The catcher, Hunter, the gear. Strike one called. The strike zone may not be what you would think, but I think he's been consistent. He's been consistent. So one ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. Oh, foul ball. My bad. No ball's too strong. So I moved down the thing, and I got to lean in to see the home plate. Ground ball to Tate and Yoder. It's going to come up and throw it over for the third out. So the Eagles get out of the top of the sixth inning, giving up one run. One run and one hit. Runner left on base. And we move to the bottom of the sixth inning. And it is Phillipsburg Oceola Mountains 9, Baldy Galeria 2. Oh my goodness, I wonder if this is really true. It says a family makes over $100,000 tax-free renting out their home to billionaires for one week in April. Welcome to the Masters Housing Friends. That's crazy. Good for them though.
leading off the bottom of the sixth inning. For the Eagles, left fielder number 26, Gavin Burns. Yep, Coach Sankey's boy showed up to play ball today. Georgie, baby. Here we go. Find a way on, baby. Find a way on. One ball to Gavin Stay locked Burns. on, baby. Stay locked on. Eagles need base runners. Lots of base runners. Short. All right. Your swing's getting too long. Stay short. That's short approach. That's your good approach, baby. No. No. That's up. Hey, that's up. Hey, stay locked on. Stay locked on. He swing at that. One ball, one strike. Work, According work. to the definition of a strike, on, GB. that is not a uh, letter. Is it high? I'm too sick. I'm too sick. Oh, it's down. Okay. Two balls, one strike. That's up. That's going to be another can of corn. Two. So one out now for the Eagles. And that'll bring up second baseman. Number nine, Peyton Yoder. Let's go, baby. Come on, Tate. Come on, Tate. Good eye. Good eye. Number nine. Number nine. Come on, Tate. Come on, Tate. Come on, Tate. Come on, Tate. In your zone, in your zone, Tayton. Two balls, no strikes on run yours, Eagle. Run yours. Senior, second baseman, sometimes pitcher. Oh, and guess what? And sometimes a can of corn. Oh, we can go too. Let's go, 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 go. Third baseman two. number twenty-two. Carson Nagel. Carson has one of the Eagles' three hits, a dinger his last time up. Yeah. At least three stomach growls. Ground ball. See, Coach Gardner, nobody has it today. He can't even catch a ground ball. This is ridiculous. A weak ground. That's it. Everybody's running laps after this game's over. It was a weak I'm telling you, these retired guys. Actually, he was working with some mispronouncing players. Jeez. One ball, one strike. The announcers suck. Players suck. Coaches suck. It's just not a good day today. Yes. Come on, cards. Unless you're a Mountie. Unless you're a Mountie. That's right. And they showed up to play ball today. Oh. Can't let that one hide. Is that a hook? Or a straight fastball? I think it was a changeup. Changeup? Okay. One ball, two strikes. Oh, yeah. He's keeping him off balance. He jammed him. Guess what? It's a bald eagle. Straight up the shoot. Yep. How many ground balls have we hit today? For the eagle. Go, leather, leather. Not many. In the bottom of the sixth inning. Three up. Three down. We'll go to the top of the seven. Nine two. This is true. You might run like it, Mays, but you hit like it. I want you to give me 20 push ups for every time you hit the ball in the air. We'd have a lot of sore ball players today. Yep. Oh, well. Like I said, this may not be a bad thing. I know some of these kids are going to not be happy with themselves. And some other kids are going to learn how they handle a little bit of adversity. Yep. Hey, when's the last time we lost a game? Yeah, because we. I'm not being like. That Belfont game here where we could have won the league. So it's been almost. Let's say four. 
48 weeks. You know what I mean? Like, that was in May. First, maybe full week of May. You know what I mean? So it's been a long time. That's what I'm saying. Like, some... I, I mean, let's face it. I do not like it when a team's going through undefeated. Now, once you hit the playoffs, but I'd rather see a team lose a couple times. I remember the softball team, the first state championship softball team, I think, lost their last three regular season games to... Sport, State College, they were three. And I remember Dave Breon saying to me, you know what? They won't see a better pitcher than what they saw. You know what I mean? Like, and they were in every game. So. And Jimmy's never uh, been afraid to play people. That's one of the things I was worried about in this sport and softball a little bit. The Laurel Highlands is not as strong as they are like in basketball. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't go out and get your non-lick games like against Mifflin County. You have to really be smart about who you pick. Ground ball in between short and third. Save. Wow, what a play though. What a play though. Yep. Infield base hit between short or between third and then Kale Burns did the best job he could do. He got it over there, just a little late. So lead off, infield, single. Number four, Archer Buffman. Now Ruckel's throwing strikes. That wasn't hit hard. That was. Oh, and he, he should have caught that. Should have caught it. He didn't. No, he didn't. It's gonna be end up a double. I've seen him made better catches than that. Yeah. He actually out, he ran pat, he ran he too deep. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. They run beyond it. Lead off hitter, third baseman, number 25, Aiden Menarchik. This is one of those ones about 30 minutes after the game's over, you just got to say, all right, it's over. A dinger and it's over. Now we actually still have to bat. Home team. Uh, yep. There's the ground ball to Nagel. Right through the legs. Is he right through the wickets? Right through the wickets, yep. There we go. Right, run scored. He looked like the Russian goal. February 22nd, 1980. Second baseman. Number one, Sam McDonald. Oh, I gotta update the scoreboard. Ten to two. Let's hit it, kid. Here we go. In the seventh inning, I'm sitting here. Go, Sam. Go, Sam. Was that a ball? Update anything. Yeah, it was a ball, right? It was a ball. Two. 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 Here we go, 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 here we Where are you going to be? Yeah, District Whoa. 6. Whoa. Meal. Hey, right. oh, hey, 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 Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll be here. Lucas Peterson in my sleep tonight. Honey, who's at the door? Some Lucas kid, Peterson. some kid named Lucas Peterson. Where's the dog? He's with Lucas Peterson. <laughs> oh, ball. Oh, God. One ball, one strike, one out. Jake from State Farm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's he? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, 
going. He's going. He's coming. There we go. What are you giving him on that? A hit? Two runs scored there, right? Yep. Yeah, two runs scored. I just... That's one of those ones where... Hit. So, he gets a triple then. Center fielder. Well, Number 23, uh, Brandon on. Or is it a single and a two base air? I guess. Uh, it's a good, that's one of the ones where. What was that pitch? Strike? Right? I don't know. Was it a strike? I don't know. That's a ball. Was that first one a ball or strike? I'm not sure. Yeah, never mind. Should I put it up? As? Put up was one and one. They yell at me, they yell at me. Which count? Got one and one. You must have been right, boss. Two and two. Yeah, I know. Maybe not every other time. Pretty much every time. Well, Runkle's still throwing strikes. First baseman, number 11, Alex Neff. But for just not having lots of luck with the making the plays, whether they're hard plays or, you know what I mean? Any plays. Any plays. Definitely not laying luck with the bat, that's for sure. Yeah. He throws a nice ball. Sure. He does, I like him. Yeah, yeah. I like him. Make sure if I see him tomorrow, I'll tell him, you know, hey, we got things to work on, but. He's throwing straight. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> nice, bitch. Yeah, that was a breaking ball, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it a yep. One ball, two strikes. One out. Thirteen to two. Ooh. That's gonna drop. Oh, boy. So everybody goes back into position. Batter goes to home. Runner goes to first. Eagles. Players all get back in my field of view. So I'm sitting here at the far end. Once they hit the corner of the dirt, they all disappear to me. I can't see home plate right now until I lean in. Great. Great. First base is occupied. No! Two outs now. Nice breaking ball. Let's get this last out. And this here is a. Number 13 is coming. Number 13. Number 13, Devin Albright. Albright. Holy smokes. Like I said, just did not see this today. 14 hits. You know what I'll say to these kids? That game was so crazy, I'm running out of light bulbs. <laughs> Just like when I see my niece, well, she's not really my niece, but I call her my niece, McKenna. She came up to that moonshot home run in the state finals in 2014. I'm like, NASA called. They still got something on their radar. They don't know what it is. There's such a... And fill in the blank. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. They're just... So what did we get there? One, right? 
One. Oh, boys, you better remember this because now they're just making fun of you. You get the little, little, little and know what? what right now, they deserve it. Meeting. They earned the right to have their fun. Yep. 14 to 2. The catcher, number 8, Hunter Mateer. So if you took the over and took the Mounties from the local bookies, you went big. You're looking good right now. <laughs> we only joke about it here on Eagle Ambassadors as educational purposes. I'm telling you, I used to play blackjack and kindergarten or first grade at Wingate for addition, but they didn't call it blackjack, they just called it 21. I see Brad Hockenberry liked my post about the game being on YouTube today. I hope you didn't turn it on, Brad. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Mounties have been batting most of the day. All day. I've had I have a big cup here of soda. <coughs> that's all that's in there, Jim, is soda, I swear. It's about all gone. Though. It's about all gone, yeah. There's a ground ball to Nagel. There you go. Nice snag by Spackman. Well the Eagles, so they got 12 runs in them. Hey, you want it? Let's go. You want it? Let's go. You gotta get it. You gotta eat it up. You gotta attack it. Don't play with the rip. Attack the ball. Moving to the bottom of the seventh inning. With the score, Mounties 14, Baldy Galeria 2. They were looking ahead to anybody. They can stop looking ahead. Got it? And you know what else stinks? We don't play them a second time. I mean, we might see them later in a playoff game. You know what I mean? Are they AAA? I thought they're double A too. I'm not sure. They might be AAA. Let me see if I can look that up on my phone. Trying to look up the enrollments by district. Good eye. 
Press one's going here, Rob. Press one's going now. Two balls, no strikes on the pitcher, Tegan Rumpel. Oh, Rob! Three and out. Three and out. Ball four. Got to start somewhere. So, Spackman. Okay. Okay. And then so, there's Phillipsburg. The catcher. Number 24, Caden Burns. Baseball, they are triple A, yep. They're triple A in baseball and basketball. That's good, good cut. Pirates are where today? Against the Mets. Yeah. Sit dead red, let's go, boy. There you go. Leave it up, leave it up, leave it up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Guardians are 11 and 5 on the season. Wow. All right, one ball, one strike, one Caden Burns. Sorry, back to reality. Pirates play the Mets at 7 10. No, no, that's it! Come on, Jim, you just called out a ball. What the hell are you doing? One ball, two strikes. <coughs> That's up. Let's go, Doyd. That's fair. Yeah, fair ball down the line. We're going to be looking at least two. So Caden Burns hits a double. Eagles have runners on second and third with nobody out. Coach Sankey, is he coming out to put the fork in him? I don't think I'd put the fork in him. I'd keep him in there. Well, I don't know how many pitches I was going to say, it probably just depends on. I'd never take him out. Even though. <laughs> Coming out through a heck of a ball game. 92 pitches. 92 pitches. eight pitches left. Great job by that one. Zach Yoder, right? His name's Zach Yoder, right? Great job, Zach Yoder. Osceola Mounties. Number 23, Brandon Hahn. Hahn now pitching. Brandon. 22 center field. Number 9, Zach Yoder. Zach Yoder again. Doing a great game. better it's just I mean that game was over in an hour and 28 minutes that game was over done over an hour ago almost what you looking at brother no you've done a good job Jim you're not doing anything well Friday I think I'm doing softball again. you tell me when you want me I'll come down you can come do softball too if you want to but I don't care no, okay, get here. Oh. all right 
was that? Was that Weibel? Darn it. Sorry, bud. First time he's batting this year, at least at home, and I didn't introduce him. That was Nicholas Weibel who hit by one hopper back to the pitcher. So he goes have one out now. Number one, Connor Perry. Good approach here, one. Good approach here, one ball. Let's go, baby. Connor Perry comes up. He's hitless on the day. Good eye. Good eye. It's going to be a while till the tying run comes to play. <laughs> It'll be dark. <laughs> one ball, one straight on Connor Perry. Perry does have three RBIs on the season. See if he can get four and five here to get these two runners in. Two balls, one strike on the junior right fielder for the Eagles, Connor Perry. Three balls, one strike. Kid has some heat. What are we? We're three grand slams away from tiring this up. <laughs> Give or take. Give or take. Ooh. Go, go, baby. Come on, you can't Lock sit there and take it. Come on. Rip it, rip it. Count is now full. That's all four. This kid definitely falls to the left. Let's get one of those grand slams right here. That's right. Who's up? Oh, this could be too. <laughs> Center fielder, number 42, Cam Watkins. Now he's going to tell him, don't pitch to him. Come on, Penguins are on tonight. We got a win for the playoffs. See if I can read it, please. <laughs> Think a hit, think a hit. Oh, I'm a runner. Think a hitter. Go, Cam. Let's go, Cam. Ah, oh, you lifted the straight up the shoot. That's gonna drop. Nope. You gotta tell yourself, line drives, but we keep popping it in, popping it, pop, 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 pop it. Kale, short shot. Extend the inning. Number two, Kale. Burns. One drive hit here. Come on. So we need Canadians to lose to beat the Red Wings tonight. Come on, Burns. Come on, Burns. Come on, so two balls, no strikes on Birdsey. Three, though. There's nowhere to put them. Good RBI out there, but let's go now. Take it any way you can get it. Get your pitch. Get your pitch. That's right. Tag at center. Let's go, Let's go, baby. Where's your gift? Yeah, that was a little high. Line drive, baby. Line drive. Come on, big dog. Let's go. Come on, All right, three, two now. Everybody's going to be moving now. Hello, on there. Come on, big kill. Come on, big kill. Nice one. Nice one. Hold on. Yeah. Through. Yeah. That's yeah. in the gap. Gonna score one. Gonna score two. two. Get there. Got that. Okay, so. Yeah. 
Only 14 to 4 now. Two outs, two runs singled by Kale Burns. Two RBIs. Two RBIs. The field number 26, Gavin Burns. I can't throw that ball away, Jim. I'd send him. He's tired. He wants out of here. How is that a strike? Yeah, we're in here. you sleep down there? Was that a strike? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I've been asleep the whole game, bud. <laughs> Game's taking forever. Oh, I know. Ooh, trust me. The baby's kicking. I think I might have twins. Either that or there's a rumble in the jungle. It's spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghetti. Oh, man. Kelly's making me nothing. I don't know. She might be. I'll just tease her. Do you eat those? Good uh... eye. There's Oreo balls, your daughter balls. Oh, oh did, you, did, did Justin bring some home or did no, you stop no, over? I, I was up there. Well, was it a oh. mistake or swinging strip? Brian, oh. he brought that in. He at the house one time. I said, hey, tell oh, your wife I need some. He said, I got some in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, those things are the bomb. Oh, man. Talking about my daughter in law's Oreo balls. Take control oh. in there, take control. Yeah, I went home Saturday, went over to the kids to eat. I had a couple over there, had to eat, went home, getting the dog supper, and I looked back, and Kelly snuck two of them in the back of the fridge. Um, well, he wanted me to take a couple with me. I said, yeah, I'd like to. One's, one's I'm two six, I'm two six. Man, they're good. Yeah, confidence, baby. Confidence here. One time she was going to make the mint ones, and then I can't remember what happened. I don't think she did. I bet I, they'd be good, too. Oh, man. Come here, babe. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's Full go. count now. Of course, they won't be running. Throw in the dirt. We can get a grand. Three, two count, two outs. Yeah, Round ball is going to be a C&I. It's going to be two more runs score. Jeez. Back to respectability a little bit. 14 to 6. Two outs. Be determined here. Be determined. Second baseman number nine. Jason Yoder. Now we're a grand slam and a half away from tying this thing. Oh no. Two. two grand. No, we're still two grand salamis. Hey, we we overtook the airs. Now we have six runs and six hits. Only five airs. Hey, lock in and be determined now. Tate, lock in and be determined here, baby. So no balls, two strikes on Tate and Yoder. That was definitely up. Yeah. Yeah. One ball, two strikes. Runner on first, two outs, four runs in. Eagles still trail 14 to 6. Swing and miss. That's your ball game. So, folks, Eagles fall for the first time this year by a score of 14 to 6 to the Young Mounties. Well, there was a lot of seniors there, too, but the starting pitcher, Zach Yoder, threw a great ball game. He's only a sophomore. So the Eagles will be back on the road tomorrow at Penns Valley. You can follow Brian Burns on Game Changer. We'll be back on YouTube Wednesday with Joe Pillett doing most of the game, if not all the game. Final score, Mounties 14. And then Friday, we'll be back on again with softball. So Wednesday, softball, Friday, softball. And Saturday, uh, we're not back here till I don't know when, but not this week. So uh, with that being said, so we play summer, summer. We'll sign. Oh yeah, we're still, yeah, we are here Friday. I'm sorry, I was thinking YouTube and who's what games I'm doing. I'm sorry. Yes, we're back here Friday. Where are the Eagles tomorrow? At Penns Valley. Our Eagles will be at Penns Valley tomorrow. So next home game. We're going to sign Friday off here, folks. Center.